school, that boy started? All right, good. Like you said, my name is Strong. That's my older brother, Strength. We both graduated. Class of 2013, Northern. Um, sophomore, Michigan State, majoring in marketing. Somebody, who was that that asked that I play football? Me. Yes and no. I got injured. <laughs> I'm gonna answer both of y'all questions, man. Right? I got injured a um, couple days before walk-ons, and at that point, I'm like, I don't really want to get injured if I'm like ever in the league or nothing. <laughs> Cause you know, people get people get injured, and all they do is like go into broadcasting and stuff like that. I actually plan to be a CEO of a company one day, so I want to have a career that will last throughout life. A little bit more information about me. Um, Northern, I basically stayed on about every side of the, well, Flint. Um, stayed on Patterson, over at Patterson and Welch, around the time I graduated. Anybody here know me? Anybody? Don't raise your hand, Randy. Um, anybody else know me? Anybody seen me? One person said he's seen me. All right, cool. So, who we got here? How many sophomores? Thanks a lot of y'all. Um, what, what about juniors? All right, what are seniors? Seniors! Was he the only one? All right, I'm gonna let that slide because you got on green and white, but um, all right, so age ranges. 18? 18? Anybody 18? 17? How did you? 16? Dang. You ain't saying 15. 15? 15? Raise your hand. Okay, okay. All right, one more question. Who is in the grade that they not supposed to be in? What happened, y'all? Flunk? Hell back? Yeah. <laughs> it, does. it does. It does, but it's, it's nothing to be ashamed about. You know, my brother was supposed to graduate the year before I did. We both ended up graduating the same year. I mean, it's cool, you know, have somebody from the same team walking across the stage with you. It's not that bad. But the reason, let me tell you why I'm here. So, I'm in a leadership class on campus. We had to get a project of original content. So I'm like, I'm all right, I'm gonna do a speech. He's like, you do a speech, you gotta deliver it. You deliver it, you gotta put it online. Bet. I went to class Tuesday, he like, y'all don't have to turn in y'all project no more. I can't say bit. It made me mad. But I did it, I already planned it, so I'm gonna do it anyway. The reason I'm here, I got four things I wanna talk about that will kind of more so help you guys in the future. You might not need it right now, sooner or later, you're going to need it. Anybody play sports? Who on the hoop squad? Anybody? Y'all play football? I mean, basketball? Congrats to y'all, man. Y'all did good this year. Wait, football players, y'all did good too? Y'all won games and stuff. What? <laughs> <laughs> I won one. A, that's a game. Look, Northwestern didn't win any games when I was here, mm -hmm. when I was in high school. Anyway, first thing I want to talk about, relations, preparation, education, and thrift. We're going to start off with relations. Who here stays at home with both parents? Raise them high, man. Be proud. Like, both biological parents. Like, mama and daddy is yours. Wait, that don't make sense. But uh, y'all got the best of both worlds, right? right. What about step parents? What about one? All right, don't be ashamed, don't be ashamed, man. I never, I never, I never knew my father when I was growing up. Like I, I stayed with my mom. She, you know, I had a bunch of stepdads. I never liked them. But, <laughs> but which ones y'all think better, like? I mean, y'all all in the same place. I'm guessing y'all all about, y'all got good grades, right? Yeah, I got good grades. Sort of, sort of. Yeah, I'm gonna take this, yes, yeah, so. Y'all all in the same place, y'all all got good grades. 
y'all all still in Flint, basically. So basically, all y'all situations is the same regardless of who is at home with y'all. Anybody want to come, come, wanna come to school today? <laughs> What's the name, man? What's up, man? You just don't never like coming to school, huh? Why not? Too much drama. Too much drama. Do you feel safe in school? Better than being safe. I'm feeling safe is two different things. Touche, touche, touche. But we're going to go ahead with two headed households are usually more stable. Statistically, those of you like me that live with single parents, welfare, WIG, I get them government checks. You're always waiting for the first and third. Actually, they switched it, I think. They just switched it. Okay. <laughs> food stops and stuff. But the reason that I want to talk about relationships is because you have to, you guys have to develop strong relationships. Like these three people right here just sitting there talking to each other. That's a strong relationship. Same who what? Hey man, speak your mind. Anyway. Yeah, man, strong relationships. Get you a bond, get you a brother. That's my real brother, but I don't really, we don't really bang with each other like that. I don't really like him, but I love him. You gotta have somebody you can go through your thin with. Coach Jackson. Hate him, man. Hate is a strong word. I don't like him. One, because he ripped that gold and blue, or maize and blue, whatever that color is. But at the same time, I know that whenever I got a problem, somebody I can call. You might not like your teachers at the moment, but they are trying to help you get to somewhere that other people haven't been. Anybody know Coach Simmons? Coach Simmons, that was my man. That was like, that was like, lack of a word, that was dad, man. That was my mentor. It hurt that he left the rest of the day. He rest in peace, though. But it's another strong relationship, a strong bond. Bonds last lifetimes. Lifetimes. No matter what you're going through, whoever that you got with you, that's that's who you are. If you're doing good, even if, even if you want to rob a bank, you got to have a good team, right? Yeah, see, see, see. Same way with a basketball team. You got to have your... Your starting five can't be the, the best. Like they can't be the only thing that y'all got. Y'all gotta have a good bench for y'all want to win. Y'all ain't gotta get along. Cause I know when I was on the team, it was people that I ain't like either. I ain't want to look at them every day. But you gotta get along. You have, you gotta have that connection. Not just because. Not just with, you know, I like this and he like that. He like Polo. I like Tommy Hilfiger. That make us different. That's why I don't like him. One of the reasons. But at the same time, we both black, we both come from Flint, and we both face adversity every day. Even in, you know, even when I'm up there on campus, I'm still stereotyped. White people, they still, they still look away from me when they see me. It's a, like he said, you feel safe anywhere. I feel safe up there, but I feel like I'm threatening them because nobody expects to see any of you guys go off to college. Anybody got plans to go to college? Oh man, what's your name? Huh? Tanya. What you want to do after school? Huh? Go on working. Yeah. I mean, it's okay. What'd you say? Go to college. It's cool. It's cool. Anybody else don't plan on going to college? I mean, be honest, like, college is not for everybody. <laughs> Anybody plan on going to Michigan State? Man, we don't like Michigan State. Yeah, we don't like Michigan State. He just raised his hand and said he want to go to Michigan State, right? Let's see what kind of hoodie he wear. That we live in your property. <laughs> Amen. Amen to that. But, like I said, most people don't expect y'all to go to college. With that being said, college ain't the only way. College just so happened to be right for me. I feel like that was the only way that I could make a better life for myself and my family. And then eventually, the younger was coming up. 
brother. He tried the college thing. He ain't feeling. But that don't mean that he can't live his dreams. What you want to do? I'm going to be a DJ. <laughs> he, my brother's a music producer, man. He's a music producer. I mean, he graduated high school, but that's all you need. All you need is to do is have a dream and a follow, basically. Yeah, what, what else you got to have? You got to have a relationship. What else? Preparation. Y'all said I got good grades, right? Yeah. Only 53.7% of you will graduate from high school. That's nationally. It's even less, in, well, actually, that's in Michigan. It's even less if you look at in Flint. We started off maybe like 800 kids in my freshman class. Only about 104 of us were seniors. Probably maybe 92, 93 of us graduated. So not many make it out of Flint. Not many even make it out of, make it through high school in Flint. I can't tell y'all the number of homeboys that I done have from high school that's locked up or dead. It's crazy out here, man. And that's why I'm here, man, because I don't know none of you, except for you do. I know a couple of y'all. Everybody else, I don't know. But at the same time, I'd be willing to lay down my life for y'all. Just because I want to see y'all succeed just as much as I just as much as I want to see my brother succeed or see myself succeed. Life was terrible growing up, man. My mom's moved away. Bro went off. He came back. I was like, man, where everybody go? Thought I was all alone. Thankfully, I had the coaches to help me out. But at the same time, man, it made me realize that life is hard out here. I know I'm not the only one that has seen a dead body. I'm not the only one that has seen somebody pull out a strap, shoot somebody. I'm not the only one that's been robbed. I'm not the only one that's dead to robbing. Not the only one that's been around drugs, whether selling, buying, smoking. You know, that's, that's natural. As a kid, as a black kid growing up in Flint, this is what you're going to see every day. It was times in school, people brought guns, people sold weed, marijuana for the people that's watching. But, you know, it's hard out here. And I don't want y'all to have to, like, go through that and not knowing that it's better things outside of here. After, you know, my mom been gone for, like, six years. My first time seeing my mom, she moved to Atlanta, by the way. My first time seeing my mom was last year. My first time traveling, going outside of the state, going down to Atlanta, kicking it with her. It was cool. That's exactly how I felt when I graduated. I didn't know what it was outside of these Flint streets. You know, it was nothing else for me. I went to Michigan State. My eyes started opening. I started seeing people. It made me want to go to different places. I want to travel the world now. But you will never know that if you never actually put your mind to it and try to get out of Flint. Next thing I want to say, education. Is there any people in here that actually like their teachers? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Ain't nobody else in here. All right. Is it like one teacher that all y'all just don't like? Miss Range. Doctor Range. Miss Range, man. Miss Range is cool. I mean, she was strict. She was strict. You know, I'm gonna make sure they don't see this video either. But um, but you know, we all got people in the life. But education is needed. Not just all this stuff that they teach y'all here. Because I didn't know until college that most of the stuff that they taught me in high school was wrong. Especially in Flint. The reason stuff is wrong because lack of resources, lack of money, and lack of students. It's only 900, it's like 900 males, black males, well, people that, males that identify as being black at Michigan State. And the campus is over 42,000 students. The same with Flint. Technically, it's actually not even really any white people here. That's DD. Um, there's not many white people here. Right? But the information that we get is not enough. 
And the information that we do get is, I don't want to say that word, is bad. Because I didn't even know that Christopher Columbus wasn't the first dude that found the Americas. You know, that's stuff that they teach you. Columbus Day, all that kind of stuff. Right? Education, you have to look beyond what they give you. I know most of y'all know, y'all probably know more about being on the streets than y'all do about actually school book, like being book smart and stuff. That's, it's not a bad thing, but it is bad when you don't seek out more. As a kid, I learned how to weigh up drugs before I even knew how to, you know, actually do fractions and stuff in high, in high school. That's bad. You're supposed to grow up actually knowing the arts. Perfect your craft. Y'all got basketball players. Only thing y'all want to do is get better, right? Y'all want to be better at basketball. Same for any other sport. Just like school. I'm a numbers person. So all I want to do is get better at numbers. But at the same time, you got to think. If, you, if you're on the court and you sick with the handles, you got to make sure your defense right. You've been walking around all day, man. What's up? Oh, what's the deal, man? No, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. You have to seek out higher levels of education. You know, it's cool that you don't want to, you know, if you, for money, uh, if, if you don't want to go to college, but you have to seek out like, higher levels of education. Trade school, military, they get guap. Cash. Military, let me see. You can even find you a good full time job nowadays. People be saying you can't really find a good job, but you can find a good job. But you get higher pay better health, better resources. I know Spider, they just moved, moved to Atlanta today. They got a job down there, got better cash. So when you seek out higher levels of education, you also seeking out a better life for you because all that stuff comes hand in hand. So when you actually try, you actually see those results sooner or later. Next thing I want to get into, thrift. For, you, for those of you that don't know, Thrift is defined as using resources wisely. In this case, money. This is a stupid question. Who like money? <coughs> it was a very stupid question, but ain't nobody, not that many people raised their hands. What do you mean you say? Who like money? That's a stupid Who like money? Who like money? Everybody. I feel it. I feel it. Y'all can be lazy. Go ahead. I think. It's not going to stop me from giving my message, though. Anyway. <laughs> like I said, definition of thrift, using resources wisely. In turn, using money wisely. Anybody invest? Where? I ain't going to call you out on it. I'm going to take your word for it. What do you mean by invest? Invest. Invest. Put your money into something to see, to see the outcome. What was that? I said I invest. Invest in what? In the fire and business. In what? In the fire and business. The fire and business. The fire and business. Flowers. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, okay, speaking of which, speaking of which, I'm going to bring up that point. Because I know a couple of people that invest in the flower and business. What's wrong with that? Nothing's wrong with it. <laughs> Except when you only make twenty five thousand a year, that's not spread bad. divide twenty five thousand by twelve months. But that's that's just a hobby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's a hobby. It's a well, technically, it's not even a hobby because you're doing hobby. that and going to school. It's not it's, if, if you're making money, it's not a hobby. It's, it's, it's improving my skills, so when I get older. <laughs> I mean, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. It's making me. It's making my experience more, more. It's improving. Man. But I see progress in my skills every day. You see progress in your skills every day, right? Yeah. All right. Do you, do you get money from investing? So you don't get money from it? No. 
I mean, yeah, you put, you're right, you're right, you invested. Well, okay, let me ask you this. What skills are improving? <laughs> Last time my friends were dying, but he <laughs> 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 He's serious. He's serious. He's serious. He's serious. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you mean to tell me you invest the money, right? In your flower, your flower hobby is what you call it. And your skills is getting better because your plants is growing faster now, right? Okay, but how is that going to help you outside? Does make you it'll help you with your science? Yeah, what kind of plants you growing? Sunflower seeds. Sunflower seeds. For real? Huh? I think you need to have a conversation with him. He said he know how to grow plants. Anyway. I think it's a game. Okay, so with these sunflower seeds. Do you know the chemicals that make up it? Do you know the strands know of DNA some, in it? I know some I'm still learning. I know some because my granny used to grow. Okay, okay, cool. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. I'm gonna okay, stop putting you on blast. But you put me on blast. You invest you invest in it. You in case you missed the conversation, bro. He invested in his flower business. And it's called it's investing because his skills is getting better. His skills are getting better because his plants are growing faster. And the flowers that he's growing are sunflower seeds. He's growing sunflower seeds. <laughs> sunflower seeds is not a tail flower, it's a seed. <laughs> anyway, man. I only got a only got a couple more points, man. A couple more points to make, man. Anybody else invest? Nah, anybody got a credit card? Don't Word? Go ahead, man. I mean, that's that's not that's not throwing throwing shots at anybody that don't got a credit card. I mean, you don't got a credit card. You don't got a credit card. I didn't even know how to use a credit card. Go ahead. Do your thing. Ball out. Go crazy. My thing is with credit, you gotta be smart. I know we don't all bought something on credit. No, I'm buying. Whether it's, it's not it's not even not even just buying from the store. Even when you buy something from your friends, if I if I let if I let him borrow some money, he just got money on credit. That goes back to the higher education. <laughs> know the difference between good credit and bad credit. And you go by interest too. Huh? Do you go by interest too? Oh I, I, I make sure I charge interest. You go by interest. You go by interest? Yeah, when I borrow some money. He to add on dollars to. and stuff real slow. Because when you think about it, look, do you know me? <laughs> no. See, you ain't never seen me before, right? Mm -hmm. So if I come to you and ask you for $10, you're going to be like, no. You don't even know. Right. If a, now, if a bank do that, just like a bank, you go in a bank asking for a loan, they don't know you. So, of course, they're going to be like, you're going to have to throw me like 15 back. Interest, man. Interest. Knowing how to work your credit, knowing what to use on credit, knowing who they let use your credit. I know I ain't the only one. My mom used to always put Comcast, um, Comcast, Sprint, AT and T. She used to put everything in my name. Mm. Mess my credit up. I'm just saying, man. <laughs> but you know, I, I got me a credit card and I'm, I'm building that back up. Then we want to go into managing money. We all like splurging. I ain't gonna lie. To you. you don't like splurging? For real? What's the last expensive thing you bought? Hmm. Yeah, just the dude that like Michigan State but repping Michigan. I, mean, I feel it, man. I feel it. But I like splurging, man. I like fancy things. I like spending my money. I like spending other people's money. Just <laughs> like, do I gamble? Define gamble. Shoot dice, play cards. I don't I don't shoot dice anymore. You used to? I did. Charge me off for flint, man. There's some certain things you just 
Can't drop. I bet games every now and then. Oh, Pacquiao. Mayweather. What? Pacquiao. Mayweather. Pacquiao. Hey, Mayweather. Pacquiao. Coach Jackson said he don't Pacquiao. What's up, Pacquiao? What's up? I bet games. Um, I play poker. I'm telling y'all. Chef, what you doing, man? I'm telling y'all, if y'all want to gamble, go to the casino, man. The odds is high, man. I'm telling you. You can go in the casino with fifteen dollars. Come out pretty good. You, you trust me. If you go in, if you go in the casino and take all the casino money, I promise you, I'll match you before I, before the day I die. Yeah, I match you. Yeah, man. Manage your money. Ain't nobody, nobody gonna gamble with their last dollar, is it? Ain't nobody gonna go, my man, you ain't gonna go to the dice game. You only got five on you. Like, this your last five. Coming up is different. If you got, if, if, I got, if I only got, if I bet you all the money in my pocket, I can do that. Why? Because I got money stashed away. So never, you never, never use your last. Ever. It might be working. You never know. I said something. You're a risk taker, man. You're a risk taker. I like that. You 18? I'm 17. Uh, man, I should say, go up to Mount Pleasant, hit up the Soaring Eagle, bro. Come on. But getting back on track, this is all I, I really just wanted to come, give y'all a chance to get out of class, chill, share y'all my experiences, give y'all a couple tips. You can use it, you cannot use it. But hey, that's it. Thanks y'all for letting me come. I'm gonna be chilling here for a minute because I only have one class today and it's over, so I ain't gotta go back to school till tomorrow or later tonight. But yeah, thanks. Uh, uh.